they do a full-on investigation they remove all of us out of the pharmacy and they bring in like people to work in the pharmacy while we are under investigation my husband at the time babe gabe was like deployed and he was coming back and we were supposed to go on this cruise we did this mediterranean cruise that we had paid like thousands of dollars for and when you're in an investigation you can't take leave you can't do nothing you like stop hard work hard work uh, hard work hard work everybody it's army princess here and welcome back to the channel so this video is brought to you by the army princess collection go ahead and visit the site now it is live we are launching august 29th so you don't want to miss the live launch but you could go ahead and head over there now and sign up to leave your email for promo and discount so let's get right into this story time because i'm about to tell y'all about the story time that involves me this time i feel like all my other story times don't really involve me that's because i'm an angel but i'm i don't really take that much leap in the military no but seriously i take my career serious and your girl ain't about to get an article 15 for now bye period poo but anyway let's get into this story time because this story time kind of like caught me off guard and i was a part of it even though i wasn't really a part of it so when i got to my second duty station was wiesbaden germany i was involved in an investigation for stealing drugs okay so y'all know i work at the pharmacy right y'all know we have all kind of drugs at the farm we have very 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 expensive drugs like we have drugs that are upwards of like five thousand dollars per prescription there have been times in military history where pharmacy technicians steal medicine i'm talking about steal insulin for diabetic they steal viagra percocet all types of stuff people have been caught stealing stuff in the military. So if you go into the medical field and you are entrusted, especially if you become a medic and you are entrusted with these drugs, keep your hands off. Don't touch nothing and make sure you have a paper trail. So when I got to Germany, I had another soldier that was working with me in the pharmacy. So it was me and him and then we had somebody in charge of us, our supervisor. We are lower enlisted, lower ranking at the time. And so what normally happens when people come to the pharmacy and they are about to leave like so say for example it's time for me to change duty stations and move to the next duty station and especially overseas you're not supposed to throw your medicine away like you're not supposed to flush it down the toilet or throw it in the trash because then, then it'll get mixed with like the sewage system and the water and then you have people having like percocet water in their in their toilet so you are supposed to bring it back to the pharmacy and we dispose of it sounds good right sounds easy but what happens is people bring back everything out of their medicine cabinets that they that they had for two years that they were stationed in germany so just imagine you have these bags of stuff that people are clearing out of their medicine cabinets that they haven't cleared out the whole two three years they were stationed there they bring it back to us it got all kind of stuff in there it's got a few Percocet left over from when they had their teeth pulled. Creams and ointments from when they had, like the babies had diaper rush. It's just a smorgasbord of stuff. So what we're supposed to do is just throw it all in these special containers to where if you reach your hand in there, it turns into mush. It like dissolves it, it turns into mush and like jellifies it so that nobody can't reach in there and steal stuff out once it's put in there. So this pharmacy technician that worked with me would always be like, oh, I'm gonna go to the back and dispose of the drugs. Like when people brought it back, he was always the one to collect it. So he would go to the back for like, you know, 10, 15 minutes, collect it, put it in the mush, so we thought, and go on about our day. What was happening is he was going through the bags of the medicine and pulling out like the Percocet, the good stuff, the Percocet, the Viagra, the Norco, like all the hardcore drugs and he was putting it in his pocket. He was taking it home. So we, it wasn't really on our records that he stole anything because this is stuff that people had brought back. Our records was good. We showed where we gave it out to the patient, but there's nothing that was showing that they brought back all of this drugs because it was all mixed together in a bag. And so one day he got into a fight with his wife in housing and the military police were called. When the military police responded to the call in their house, they, they fight and argue, going back and forth, argue and fight. She's like, and that's why he been stealing drugs from the pharmacy. She comes out with no lie, no lie y'all, a Ziploc bag, like a gallon Ziploc bag of drugs. It looked like Skittles in the bag, like just everything. 
needless to say, he no longer worked in the pharmacy. <laughs> like from that next day, like they took him to jail to the military police that day. <laughs> they took him to jail and they confiscated everything. They had to do a full on investigation in our pharmacy. When I say full on, a full on investigation in our pharmacy to determine like how he was stealing all of this stuff. Come to find out he was like selling it like around the housing complex to like service members. He was selling it and sending it back home to the states to people like he was homeboy was making money off of like drugs that people brought back and just think how nasty is that like you don't know what these people did with it in their medicine cabinets how they stored it like if animals got to it how long it's been there like some of this stuff two or three years so it's expired so people are like taking this stuff not knowing that it's old it come from somebody else's house that they done brought back like it was just a whole mess they do a full-on investigation they remove all of us out of the pharmacy and they bring in like people to work in the pharmacy while we are under investigation my husband at the time babe gabe was like deployed and he was coming back and we were supposed to go on this cruise we did this mediterranean cruise that we had paid like thousands of dollars for and when you're in an investigation you can't take leave you can't do nothing you like stop they removed him from the military like he got kicked out of the military and sent they first they send his wife home because if you get in trouble they send your family back to the states first like bye you can't stay in our house and bye so they sent family they sent his wife and his son back to the states they they pulled him out the pharmacy until the investigation was done and that took like about like a month or two he got kicked out of the military he lost all of his benefits his gi bill his schooling his money his disability he lost all of that um our supervisor got removed for me luckily i didn't have anything to do with it like i wasn't doing anything so i got to stay and keep my job and keep a clean record thank god um but yeah it was it was not good for him and so i wanted to bring this story to you all because i have a lot of people in my comment section saying that they want to be medical related they want to work in all of these different medical fields and when you're in medical fields you are entrusted with thousands of dollars worth of equipment thousands of like hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment hundreds of thousand dollars worth of medicine and drugs and even like injecting stuff and and giving stuff to people could potentially kill them so you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you could be legally held responsible where you could go to jail for stealing stuff even like sometimes people do stuff on an accident oh i'm delivering this to this patient i accidentally put this pill in my pocket because i have to see two or three other patients before i get to them you end up going home or you take take your jacket off and you know what i mean all type of situations can happen unintentionally and I wouldn't want anybody to get hurt. I wouldn't want anybody to lose a job and lose their benefits and lose their money. All the time spent training and being in the military. And now you get out with a um, less than honorable discharge. So keep your nose clean. Do your job. Do what you're supposed to do. Don't steal anybody's medicine or anybody's equipment. And do the right thing so that you can make it up in the ranks and you can be the leader that you want to be. So on that note, I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Hard work, hard work. Hard work, hard work. Hard work, work. There you go.